hey friends welcome to the channel so <laughs> oh my goodness if this is your first time of clicking on my videos my name is judith and clicking on this video is not an accident at all please go ahead and subscribe like like the video even before you watch it and if you're a returning subscriber i just want to let you know that i love you i appreciate you but first of all i just want to apologize for the sound quality of my recent video hmm. i can't explain but i know i know i'm so sorry i'm i keep trying my best to bring out the best so that's it so guys I was on the internet today and I was doing some research not related to YouTube like just my own research then I happened to come by is it a site or yeah something like a site I don't know whether the person is a Ghanaian whether the person is a foreigner but the person really said certain things about Kumasa that I really want to address so bad we are all trying our best to actually put Kumasi there, like on the map, so that at least if someone is coming to Ghana, the person, oh, if Ghana is not all about Accra, we have somewhere called Kumasi and all that. So, guys, when I saw that, I'm like, nah, I'm not letting this pass. So, I'm going to insert a screen recording of the whole thing I saw on the internet for you all to see. The person really said a lot of things. I jotted them down. But first of all, I can confidently say that Kumasi is the best place to be in Ghana right now. Like, I'm not trying to call for an argument, but that is what I like, that is what I believe in, or that is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Because Kumasi is the best place you can be in Ghana right now, like currently. If you want a good place to live kumasi is the best place for you so um the person started by saying um the family score in kumasi is very poor guys i was born in kumasi bred in kumasi i've lived like the only time i traveled was when tertiary education took me to cape coast and i have seen people do a lot of things for their families honestly men women kids are doing a lot of things in kumasi here just to i mean put their family here so if you say the family score in kumasi is very poor or is very bad guys it's wrong it's very wrong like it's false that is not true kumasi i have seen people like parents okay living with their kids and then you know that the kids are of age they really need to move out but because of the love of family and all those things they always prefer to have their kids by themselves so if you want if, if you are trying to say that the family score in kumasi here is bad that is very wrong kumasi people really appreciate family like family is one of the things they don't joke at like they don't joke with at all so this is very wrong and then the next thing the person said is the cost of living guys i have said this over a countless times the cost of living in kumasi is relatively cheaper but i always say that the cost of living it's like it depends it's relative maybe if i spend five thousand cities per month it's okay for me like with respect to myself and with respect to like my life or whatever like um with respect to the amount of money i have or the way i see myself or like with respect to myself let's say maybe spending five thousand cities a month will be okay for me but let's say party b five thousand cities could be the yearly budget for party b so the the cost of living really is relative it depends on the person but on the average like the average Ghanaian, just like I am, 
cost of living in Kumasi is very cheap. Accommodation, transportation, food. Because you see, that, like the nearby villages are near Kumasi. So transporting food from the villages to Kumasi doesn't really cost. Unlike in Accra and other parts of the country. And then the next one the person said is the internet. Guys, the person said the internet in Kumasi is very poor. But this is very factless and void because internet it depends on you what kind of network you want to use or internet can be poor in Accra too can be poor in Sunyane can be poor in the Tamale and all that currently I think the internet for internet to be poor it depends on where you are and then the type of network you are using because in Ghana we have glow Vodafone, Airtel, MTN, and all that. So these networks, like it depends. Some are faster than the others. So you, for you to say that the internet in Kumasi is poor, I don't agree with it. Internet in Kumasi is not poor, and it's fast. It depends on you. It depends on what network you want to use. Okay, so let me go to fun. <laughs> like when I saw this article on the internet i laughed because basically this person is trying to paint kumase black trying to trying to advertise kumase wrongly to the world and that is what i'm trying to address right now fun if you say fun is bad i don't understand you because countless times i visited the villages or the um remote areas or the rural areas and then people living there were having fun as much as they could like if you want to have fun it depends on you it depends on what kind of fun you want to have so if you say fun aspects in Kumasi is very bad honestly I don't agree and I think it's false because in Kumasi here there are lots of places to be to have fun so if you say fun in Kumasi is bad like I don't get it guys if you are planning on coming to Ghana today kumase is absolutely the best place for you to be case closed no fun in kumase Sesei. <laughs> i don't get it that is wrong that is false if you get to kumase today and you want to have fun there are places for you to go there and have fun so yeah and then the next one i actually took my time to write everything so that i don't even leave a single one temperature you say the temperature in Kumasi is like is bad or is poor. I don't really get what you are trying to say. Cause just like other parts of the world, they have winter, summer, and all those seasons or temperature differences. In Ghana here, we have the Hamatan, we have extreme rainy season, we have the dry season and all that. So like every part of the world is different from the other so for you to say that the temperature in kumasa is bad that was a void statement and i'm not trying to even argue with the person it's factless it's void yeah let's go to the next one safety hmm. safety in kumasa is poor i don't get what this person is trying to say see as a human being 80% of your safety depends on you yourself. Like, personally, you have 80% like chance of keeping yourself safe. And then the remaining 20% depends on the kind of environment you find yourself in or your surrounding. Or Yeah, so for you to say that Kumasi is not safe, it depends on you. You've heard that this place, don't go there at this particular time. You want to go there if you go and you have your own issue it depends on you that's why i said 80 percent of your life like your safety depends on you the individual sorry because right now as i'm seated at home and i've heard the news something has happened at tafo which is a, a part of kumasi so we are we are not expecting people or we are not expecting citizens of ghana to come to tafo at this particular time and that is the time that I feel like I have to go to Tafo. If I go and I, I encounter any accident, Nahu Kosam, it's only, eh, me and Amakose, 
eh mia so if you say that safety in kumasa is poor i don't get you and coming to this point is what really kills me for you to say that education level is poor guys let me tell you if you try to compare the present day kumasi to the ancient days kumasi you are doing a very cost 90 thing because you can't compare the kumasi we knew years ago to the kumasi we know now guys the way people are chasing after education is so impressive i have seen women men sold their properties and their belongings just to put their children through education so if you say education in kumasi is poor or is bad i don't really get it i don't really understand it and it's very wrong because we are in a part of the world everyone is trying to get a form of education both formal or informal so if you say the education in kumasi or the education level in kumasi is poor you are wrong honestly it's fatless it's very wrong english speaking okay kumasi is the capital town of the ashanti region like the capital city kumasi is the capital city of ashanti region and kumasi people really value culture a lot they value their traditions a lot especially their food their language their music their norms like their cultural norms and their traditions so me i have had several occasions of me walking outside and let's see i was speaking like i remember the other time i was with my sister the one who comes after me we were walking at roman hill i think the day we went to drink the coconut if you haven't checked out that video you can go and check it and then when we were coming we even forgot ourselves we were speaking english and someone said hey monkechi monkechi like they always want to insist on what is theirs always want to insist on what belongs to them because english language is not ours is the white man's language so let's say if you come to kumasi and you see people communicating in tree and all that it's not that they can't speak english i know people who can speak proper english like when they are speaking english eh you might think that like they are foreigners but they don't they choose not to because it, they believe it's not their language they want to always speak tree they want to I mean they want to go according to their traditions and their norms so don't don't like don't say things that are not true about kumasi please kumasi is my city please i'm trying to package kumasi and present it to the world for them to feel like for them to know that oh if i get to ghana today there's a place called kumasi that i can go to yeah and then walkability okay the walkability it basically refers to the measure of how friendly a distance is closer to the other with respect to walking so in kumasi here you can basically walk to anywhere you want to go because the roads have um, um, pedestrian pavements and then the safety on our roads is so you can walk to anywhere you want to but this person here has put on the internet that the walkability in kumasi is good you shouldn't say good it's better yeah it's better and then peace there is hundred percent absolute peace in kumasi hundred percent absolute peace in kumasi here because there are no tribal wars like ethnic conflicts and all that you wouldn't find that in kumasi like you would in other parts of ghana and let me go to the next one the traffic safety the person said the traffic safety in kumasi is poor guys if we are to talk about traffic in ghana right now accra is what should come into mind because i've been to accra countless number of times and then the traffic there you people know you know what i'm trying to say but kumasi there's traffic here but the traffic here is very friendly as compared to accra so the person went to the extent of saying that the racial tolerance in kumasi here is very poor guys kumasi people don't discriminate let me say this i've heard a lot of people talk about eh, kumasi for you they discriminate and all that honestly honestly 
I think it's only a few people who do that, but majority of us here, we are friendly, we are welcoming. The way Kumas people receive visitors, I have had an experience whereby I went to a shop to buy something and then a white man came there. The way the shop attendant wanted to even ignore me and attend to the white man, I even got angry. So the racial tolerance here is good. It's good. It's good and freedom of speech for the freedom of speech the person said it's hundred percent and it's true guys Kumasi here someone can we we call some people serial callers they can call on the radio station talk about whoever they want to talk about to the extent of even insulting some of our leaders I'm not saying it's, it's good but that is the level of democracy or the the freedom of speech we have here guys i hope <laughs> guys i hope you you all enjoyed this video i hope this video helps you out there i hope this video clears that bad perception you have about commerce because maybe you have even read this article i saw on the internet before and i just want to let you know that if you are to come to Ghana today, consider visiting Kumasi. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, do all the good things that help me, guys. Because your girl wants to get 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know it's possible, guys. Everything is possible.